What you see in front of you is a material safety data sheet, much like you will see for any of the chemicals we use in the laboratory. Now this one has been distributed by Flynn Scientific Incorporated, which is the company we use to get most of our chemicals for the chemistry lab. Now there, it's important that you understand how to read a material safety data sheet just in case something happens in the laboratory that you need to know about the chemical and what procedures to take. In fact, before most labs, you will be required to, lead, to read the material safety data sheet for the chemicals used in that particular lab. Now, this particular material safety data sheet, it covers the solution ammonium nitrate, which is a relatively dangerous chemical. Now, this material safety data sheet tells you a few things about, the, about ammonium nitrate and how to handle it. The first thing you're going to notice is that, it, is that it illustrates the composition of the solution. Since this is a solution, it tells you that in this solution you're going to find between 4 and 12 percent ammonium nitrate and the rest of the solution is going to be water. So I'm going to highlight in blue right here, water. Okay. Now, while it's, it's nice to know the composition of the solutions, we're not as concerned with that as we are other portions of this material safety data sheet. Specifically, this section right here, hazards identification. This is the section that you really need to read carefully before the lab. Now you'll notice about ammonium nitrate, it tells you, is a clear, colorless, and odorless liquid. It tells you that the substance is not considered hazardous. However, not all as health aspects of this substance have been thoroughly investigated. And over here on the right, you'll see an area that tells you Flynn at a glance. Now most chemicals have this printed right on the bottle where a zero means very low hazard not no hazard because no chemical is completely hazardless but very low hazard is a zero a three is very high I'm gonna go ahead and clean things up here so we can see that a little better right here zero means low three means high now I mentioned in the introduction that Ammonium nitrate is a pretty dangerous solution, but this at a glance tells you it's not. Part of the reason for that is the solution we will use in lab is relatively dilute. A dilute solution is much less hazardous than a concentrated solution. This solution itself, ammonium nitrate, is also less dangerous than solid ammonium nitrate, which we're not looking at that MSDS, we're looking at the MSDS for a solution of ammonium nitrate. It's important to know what form your chemical is in because as I mentioned ammonium nitrate solid or ammonium nitrate crystals have a very different chemical behavior than ammonia and ammonium nitrate solution. Now much like the hazard section you also need to pay close attention to the first aid section. What to do if you actually accidentally do inhale the vapors or in something happens you the liquids get behind your goggles you also need to notice section 5 which is the fire measures now this is a non flammable non combustible liquid so we're probably not going to be dealing with fire measures but it's always nice to read that section to be sure Section 6 tells you what to do if there is an accident, accidental release. That's another way of saying if there's a spill, if this solution is spilled. Section 7 is more for your inst instructor's use and for your 
student helper use it will it tells you where to store the compound and what to store it with because as we know this is chemistry things react if they are in close contact with each other section 8 tells you what you should wear to protect yourself and this one doesn't seem to have any special uh, circumstances that you should take into account just your typical avoid contact with eyes, skin, and clothing most chemicals that's the case that's why we wear goggles as well as aprons and gloves we should also wear splash goggles hey I just mentioned that and chemical resistant gloves and a chemical resistant apron we have all of those things for you here at the school that concludes how to read this lecture on how to read a material safety data sheet which most teachers and most instructors will just shorten to MSDS.